Troy police say they get a lot of road rage calls and frankly, there's so much construction in the area. I don't blame drivers for getting a little upset from time to time, but rarely do road rage incidents accelerate to this bizarre and dangerous extreme. And is he armed or are you armed? Uh, no, I, he told me he was armed. You can see from this police dash cam video, there's a white Chevy Cruze behind a gray Dodge Caliber. At this very moment, the driver of that Caliber is on the phone with 911. He says he's been trying to escape the Cruze for more than 10 miles after it nearly sideswiped him near I-75 and Lapeer Road. And then next thing I know, he slams on his brakes and jumps out of his car and threw something at my car. He threw something at your vehicle? Yeah, it sounded like a blick or something hit my rear end of my car, so naturally I stopped. And when I stopped, he came running up on me, said he was going to blow me out and blow me away. Police caught up with them here at I-75 in Big Beaver, but the ordeal is far from over. It refused to shut off the car and kept backing, backing and going forward, backing and going forward, actually striking our officer's um, shoulder with the door that he had opened in an attempt to get him to stop the car. Is the officer talking to that other driver now? He's dragging the driver out of the car and the guy's trying to run. You might want to send back up quick. Now the guy's trying to attack the cop. Am I allowed to go help this cop? The man in the caliber still on the phone with 911 essentially gives the operator a play-by-play -play as the officer tries to arrest the female driver and the male passenger confronts him. He just tackled the cop. He tackled the cop now? Yeah, now the cop's on top, but he tried taking the cop to the ground. Now he's pushing the cop, just threw the cop on the ground. Troy police say they found a machete in the suspect's vehicle between the seats. They took both the man and woman into custody, and they are awaiting charges. In Troy, Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. Jennifer.